a French cellist, a composer from New Zealand, an Australian conductor, and an English label, have collaborated in the recording of two cello concertos to memorialize that terrible time and celebrate the peace that these men and women sought to restore. This recording is really the climax of these past three years. I learned that Elgar had been linked to Helen Weaver and that she had broken off her engagement um, before she moved to New Zealand. As music critic Peter Meachin said so well in his review of the premiere of the Gareth Farr Concerto, he was struck by how the expression of anguish and anger in this new work reminded him of Elgar's cello concerto. Gareth is an extraordinary composer. Uh, we discover uh, that we share many things in common, like our commitment to honoring our ancestors. They were all killed in northern France and Belgium. So that's my, my personal connection to, to the piece. I was so blown away by Sebastian's playing and... Phenomenal. He's, yeah. he's, he's a fantastic guy and a really, really good musician. Writing for, for colleagues and friends and writing for individual personalities. The meeting with um, Benjamin Narfe was amazing. We were absolutely in the same artistic direction. Sebastian Herto received the final score of the concerto two days after the birth of his daughter and two months before the world premiere performance. Gareth composed a short song inspired by the name of my daughter, Stella. And he's a crazy man and he included that in the cello concerto Canenza. I don't think I would have played this concerto the same way before being a father. And a voice came into my head, it said to me, Stay alive. Audiences from different countries express the same sentiment to me. And they say, listening to the concerto you perform, you transported us and brought to life the images of war. It seemed important that these two concertos should be recorded together in order to convey the belief that despite tragedy, we need to hope for a better future.